The Super Comp Trader Model Series has gone through some amazing advancements and innovations. So in this video, I went on a hunt to see exactly what people thought about this $175 shoe. So stay tuned to see exactly what this shoe can do to change your overall experience. This shoe includes some new things you may have seen from the Super Comp Elite B4s or even the Rogue B4s. Both that being said, long story short, this shoe includes a new design, some new foam, among a lot of other advancements that you guys are going to see in this video. Both that being said, go ahead and click the links down below in the description if you do want to go ahead and buy these sneakers right here. I run in Nikes, but like, I wouldn't mind making a switch to New Balances. So here we have the shoes right here as you guys can see and I love the overall white part of the upper and also the Cyber J type of color along the midsole. But with that being said, I love this shoe as it is the third version. I can definitely attest to you that this shoe is definitely the best out of the three. Now these do retail at $180 and these are called the New Balance Fuel Cell Trainer B3s. And these do fit true to size as I am a 10 and a half and I was able to purchase these shoes right here for 10 and a half and they fit me quite well. The uses for these are best for those training runs as it has the soft cushioning, it has neutral support, and I also do have a plentiful amount of foam located along the whole midsole. And this is definitely a lot more foam compared to the previous version. However, the description of these shoes is pretty simple as it is built for those half and full marathon trainings. Also, something else about this shoe is it delivers comfort every step of the way in this fuel cell midsole that has 3% bio-based content which actually incorporates that propulsive feel so you guys before i go ahead and see how this sneaker fits across a bunch of similar sneakers today i'm here with jacob today i'm here with brandon today i'm here with tony today i'm here with jerry today i'm here with jonathan and so the first question i have for you on these new balance trainers is what would you say the overall fit on these shoes is comfortability probably 10. Oh, i'm not gonna lie they, they're really comfortable Okay. The bottom of it, it feels like you're walking on a cloud. Incredible. I mean, they make me feel like I'm six feet. Like, I'm like 5'8", so they make me feel like I'm six feet for real. And the cushioning is crazy. I run in Nikes, but like, I wouldn't mind making a switch to New Balances. Damn! Uh, fits pretty well. How would you rate it compared to other sneakers you've had in the past? Uh, I'll give it like a, an 8. It feels pretty good. I'll give it like an 8.5. For sure, 8.5. That's pretty smooth. And is this authentic or is this BS? I'm being real here. Okay. Uh, 9.5. That's out of 10. super, super solid. Why would you give it a 9.5 though? The look, it's not really my type, but the comfortability right there, ooh, spot on. Ooh, spot on. Like, For sure, that's real. And then, so last but not least, the more important question. Would you go ahead and buy these shoes with your own money for $175? Um... Low key, I would. Maybe. Maybe. I said maybe, yeah. So what would make you or would not make you buy this shoe right here? I just like the price. Huh? You nah. like the price? No, nah, it's like too much. For oh, me, for okay, me. for sure, for sure. Yeah, I was yeah. about to say. Personally, no, because I'm not a New Balance type of dude. <laughs> but if I was and I was a runner, then yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'll buy them. Why that so confident? Yeah. Because they look like running shoes as well. And I run at school a lot. On 70? Yeah, why not? I just bought new Nikes, but if I was looking for and I was on the market for new ones for this upcoming season, I definitely get these. You guys can see the people are really loving this shoe, but without further ado, let's get straight into that review. So where is this fit on the line of the grand scheme of similar sneakers just like this one right here? So one of the sneakers I will compare it to is the top sneaker that I said is the most comfortable sneaker, and it is from New Balance, and this is the Roby Force. These are one of the hands down one of the best bang for your buck sneakers coming for about $140 and this is an insanely good deal I'm not gonna lie. So if you're looking for a lighter option that is very breathable and has a very nice amount of cushion this is definitely my go-to and I definitely recommend it over these shoes right here. Now if you do want to go ahead and spend a little extra more money this is a great option as it will add a little bit of extra height. Also, this shoe has a very squishy underfoot with a very nice tongue, so I definitely recommend it. And this shoe is definitely just one of those shoes that is nice for those training scenarios as that is what it's intended for. Other than that, these are a very comfortable pair of sneakers with a very nice cushioning setup. It is very lightweight, very breathable, and just fits all the boxes of a great shoe. But if you do already have the Rogue before and want to go ahead and try these sneakers anyway, this is going to be one that you're going to be super stoked to go ahead and test out for your personal needs. 
But with that being said, I just love to see the overall progress and evolution of these sneakers right here. If you guys do want to go ahead and purchase these Supercon V3s or even the Royal V4s, I will go ahead and make sure to link them down below in the description. But with that being said, go ahead and comment down below what you guys thought about these sneakers right here. Let me know what you guys like. Let me know what you guys dislike. And if you guys want to see some of the best of the best running sneakers just like these right here, go ahead and click this video.